Hey everybody, welcome to Barbecue Land, Hertfordshire's premier barbecue dealership. My name's Jack, and today we've got a special guest chef. My wife Hayley is going to be cooking us an awesome dessert on the Kamado Joe Classic Free using a large cast iron pan that you can also get from Barbecue Land. So I'll hand you over to my wife and she will show you how to make camp donuts. Okay, so today we're going to make a really, really simple recipe which is family friendly. Um, and something that I used to make at the Girl Guides is such an old recipe, but it's just amazing and wonderful. Um, and you can knock it up in minutes. So we're going to make camp donuts today. Um, so all you're going to need is some bread, jam, flour, sugar, egg and milk. Uh, a nice cast iron frying pan like this Dodge one, which is available from Barbecue Land. And some oil, vegetable oil for cooking. So before we start anything, I'm going to get on our preheated Kamado, so about three centimeters of oil in the bottom of the cast iron pan. Okay, so we've put our cast iron pan on the Kamado over direct heat, and we're gonna let that oil get up to about 170 to 175 degrees Celsius. And whilst we're waiting for that to happen, we'll make our batter. So what you're gonna need is a mixing bowl. and 100 grams of plain flour. One egg. And 300 milliliters of milk. And we're just going to give that a whisk. Done. So now we're going to make our camp donut, which is essentially a jam sandwich with no butter. So it sounds disgusting at the moment, but once it's dipped in batter, fried and dipped in sugar, you're talking all the good stuff. So your favourite jam, we're using blackcurrant, but strawberry, apricot, so many different kinds of yummy jam out there now. Literally get a nice thick layer of jam on your white bread. Don't you want to make donuts with wholemeal bread? That'd be a bit sad donut. Sandwich together. And cut off the crust. And then we're gonna cut it into triangles. And we're ready to go as soon as that oil's heated up. See, it's got up to about 170 to 172 degrees Celsius. And the way you can check if you don't have a thermometer or you just wanna double check whether your oil is hot enough is just to take a little bit of spoonful of your batter and throw it in the pan. And if it starts to sizzle like that, you know you're good to go. So what we're going to do is quite simply dip our jam sandwiches in our batter. And then we're just going to pop them in the oil. Careful of your fingers, obviously. What we're looking for is a nice golden brown colour on each side. So a couple of minutes to each side. Okay, so we'll just give these a little test. Once you get that nice golden brown colour on one side, just flip them over and do the other side. So when you've got that nice golden brown colour on both sides, Give them a little bit of a shake, get some excess oil off. Pop them onto a chopping board. And these are ready for sugar coating. Okay, so we've done our jam sandwich, which has been dipped in batter. We've fried it. So last thing to do is the best bit of all is to dip that bad boy in sugar. So literally simple case of, Little bit of sugar in a bowl. 
You're using your tongs because it's still quite hot. Coat your donut on each side. Just give it a couple of minutes to cool down before you bite in. Thanks for joining us once again at Barbecue Land. Don't forget, this month we're running a special deal on the Kamado Joe Classics. You get £100 worth of chicken and turkey from Copper's traditional turkey farm when you buy a Classic 2 or a Classic 3. Check the deal out online. I'll put the link in the description below. Big thank you to Hayley who came and cooked Camp Donuts, donuts for us today on the Kamado Joe Classic 3. So let's give them a go. Oh yeah. That's lovely, nice crunchy batter, hot jam in the center, nice bit of sugar on the outside. Perfect dessert to end your night, amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we will see you all soon for some more cooking action.